Over the years, I've been recommending my clients to update their content. Now, as the website grows exponentially, uh, there's a lot of your content that's going to be outdated that Google is not going to index or even Google might de-index because it's so old that there, there are trillion newer versions of the content. That information has been updated so many times, but you've not caught up with the updated information, which is why Google might de-index your page or if anything, the clicks going to that page will just tank. And if that happens to your website over a period of several years, um, you, you might have several hundred pages that are dropped off search, that have lost clicks. And if you've not been adding more content at the same pace, what you would essentially see is that there'd be a decline in your traffic, uh, a gradual decline. So it's not gonna be like a steep drop because of a, an algorithmic penalty, but it's gonna be a steep decline. So the question I always get to get asked is, how do I know what content needs to be updated? Um, and, and that's a fair question. Um, some things are easy, but each time there's a new iPhone out, you can update uh, you know, the article about the iPhone. Each, each time there's a new version of iOS out, you can update the article about the new version. You can you know, add, a, add a timeline that goes over like how iOS has changed. Um, with the latest updates, with the latest announcements, and so the page can be gradually updated. But that's understandable. Um, but what if you're doing um, articles in the travel niche, or if you're doing just general uh, so-called evergreen articles? And, 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 you know, contrary to what many people would believe, these so-called evergreen articles also become old, and Google will stop, uh, you know, ranking those articles, and over time they will lose clicks. And so here's a very easy hack that use app scripts. Now, the script to this app script is available on my website, which is cloudseo.com slash SEO tutorials. You can go there and uh, there's a blog post about this. And you can go there and there's, there's a script, you just copy and paste the script, but it's more than that. You just need, you also need to know how to use the script. So in this video, that's what I'll show you how to do. And I'll show you how to find all the old outdated articles that you might want to consider updating but before I do, uh, I want you to like and subscribe. I also want you to I also want you to let you know that I offer topical mapping services, SEO services, and uh, website audit services on my website. Um, I'm also gonna put out a few free SEO tools that you can use to do your SEO. Very basic tasks, are made easier, and they're made for my. They're, I essentially were using them for my own self, but now putting them on my website and that will be available to you guys um, you know, over the course of the next few weeks. So let's jump right into this. I will hit clear performance and this shows you all. So this website is doing pretty well for one that just started a few weeks ago. Um, but we'll scroll right down here and we'll see there are a bunch of keywords and over here it says clicks, impressions, and as we go down, you know, clicks and impressions kind of vary the clicks go down and the impressions kind of vary so some have more impression or less clicks but we're not concerned with all of this what we're concerned is with the pages so if we go to pages we see some pages obviously the home page gets more clicks than others but as you go down as the pages become you you know it's lower down the directory the fewer clicks they get and also google is not probably even indexing them so what we're trying to kind of do is we're going to try and export this before i do let me also show you one other thing if i go to dates over here this is very unhelpful by google it just shows you a date it shows you how many clicks the website got at, during that date and how many impressions it got it doesn't tell you which pages got these clicks so if you're just looking at this um it's uh, it, it, it's not very helpful and so this is what we're going to change we're going to try to find out what pages have been receiving the least clicks in the past few days and we're also going to find like which which of these are the oldest pages that are receiving the least clicks so that we can update our, our, our website so we'll go ahead and we'll hit export over here and we'll export this as a um, google sheets go over here and this does a click a uh, quick export as google sheets okay so you've got top queries clicks impressions ctr and position now 
what I want to do is I want to like, I want to hit um, share. And I also want to go to restricted access, anyone with the link, viewer, I want to do editor. And I also want to do copy link because I want to take this link from Safari and I want to put this into, I don't want to put this into Google Sheets, uh, into Google Chrome. And so copy, I paste this here real quick. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to start an app script. So uh, I have the code here. Actually, I actually, I actually made the app script. So I have the code here. So I'll just copy the code. Copy the code over here. And... Uh, okay. I'll go and I'll do the extensions. I'll go to app script. Let's maximize the screen here. Go to app script and take a second to load. And we want to start by clearing all of this. So control A, clear. Make sure that you do this. This is very important. Copy and paste. So this is this is something you can pick up from uh, my website. So we will copy uh, the function from here and just do a quick copy over here the copy the function from here and we will paste it over here and make sure that you scroll down and there's a pages tab right here so click on the pages tab um, before you do anything else and you click on the cell you do an equal to sign you paste this now what you want to do is you want to do a which is this is where this is where the url is so this is a2 so you just want to put in an a2 and that's it okay just go ahead and refresh now the, now what you should do is you know uh once you've pasted the code in here i've saved this as dates do not do the run over here once you've done this and you've saved refresh the sheet i hit reload over here and click over here it says date not not found now sometimes this will not find a date but most times it will so what i'll just do is i'll just um just copy this across all the pages because i want to find the dates for all the pages on this cell on this uh, sheet and just go ahead and just copy this across and I think I'll just do it till here for demonstration purposes, just to show you like how this works. And also I'll do a date so here, click here and I will do tools. Um, format, create filter and I want to create a filter. Now, for some reason, this did not pick up all the dates. Uh, click, click. Here we go. Now over here, what I want to do is I want to go down to the Pages tab. So right down here, and I'll try to focus this as much as possible. There is the Pages tab over here. This is where I want to click. So I will click here, and I will go to Extensions. I'll go to, go to Get. Oh, mm, ah, yeah. Okay. So uh, it's actually app script. So I'll go to app, app script. And what I'll do is I'll copy and paste the app script. This is where the app script is for from another sheet. I'm just copying it. I'm just copying it from here. And right now this says untitled project. I'll go ahead and maximize this. I want to clear all of this over here. So control A and, and then I'll Paste it, just make sure there's nothing else over here. Now I want to save this. I'll save this as, ah, I save this as untitled. I want to save this as dates. So go ahead and rename this as dates. Now what I want to do is I want to copy this over here. Just copy this over here. Copy, go to the sheets. Here's where I'm going to position my cursor. Do a an equal to over here equal to paste the function and now if you look at this the first url is a2 
So I'll just put in an A2 within this. A2, hit enter. Uh, okay. Yep. This made a mistake here. And enter. And it gives me the date. Now what I want to do is I want to find the dates. But I'll label this dates. I want to know I want to find the dates for all of these pages over here. Also, just do this. Just um, drag this across. And for some of these, it might not give us a date because the way this this phrases the dates, um, it it does not work sometimes. And it might not work for the entire site, or it might, it might not work for some pages. Like for this one, it says date not found. And in, in some cases, it might give you an error. So what I want to do here is I want to go to clicks, impressions, CTR. That's all fine. I want to find the ones that are getting the lowest click-through rate. So I'll go here, I'll do filter, and the filter turns on for Google Sheets. Now what I want to do here is I want to sort by date. So I want to go and I want to go to, and I want to go to the oldest one. So I'll just remove all of this here and i just want to see the oldest one and see how many clicks the oldest ones are getting so i'll remove the tick marks from all of here all of these over here and click over here so this is the oldest one it says 20 21 11 and 3. so i'll click here i'll click here i'm interested in all the ones from two years ago do okay and this is what i i end up with so what I end up with here is I get four clicks on this one here, right here for 183 impressions. So this is doing pretty well for a two year old post. And honestly, you want to look at pages that are over a year old. Um, this one is getting one click and all of these are getting zero clicks, even though they have impressions, which means that this is probably outdated content. Now I don't, I'm, I'm not going to go to this URL over here because uh, this is a client's website, but what I want to show you is that you want to start your search by looking at these pages um, and updating these pages right here. And this is essentially it. Um, the other problem you might encounter is that for some of this, your clicks and impressions, there might not be clicks and impressions data, in which case it means that the pages were de-indexed. Uh, if the pages were de-indexed, then it means that you would have to recreate these pages or at least, you know, update the pages or create a new page and then redirect the old page to the new page and, you know, add fresh content to it. And the dates right here, just a little quick, these are dates that are associated with these pages. So these are creation dates for these pages. Um, and this is not really accurate, I must add. But this gives you a very good idea of how old these pages are. This is a very easy SEO hack. Anyone can do it uh, that you're, you're using the app scripts correctly. Now, if you have a problem with the app scripts, you can always get in touch with me and I can send you an updated version. But this has been working for a while and I've been using it for a while and no problem. So if you like the video, like and subscribe, leave a comment below. And I'll try to get in touch with you. If you're looking for an SEO service, there's a link in the description. You can fill out the form and I'll also get in touch with you and I'll see you guys in the next video.